All right, y'all, I'm back. I am nervous. I am excited. I am a little moody today, but I'm going to use it as fuel to give y'all what we need. Okay, and that's me <laughs> on the screen, period. All right, no, let me stop. This is a really serious moment. Welcome back to Let's Life Podcast, which is really, honestly, and truly an audio diary. I started this journey, I can't tell you when, probably like three years ago. And I took it upon myself to use all of my voice memos of me talking to myself, documenting things and my feelings and my emotions and how I process things. And I turned it into a podcast. I interviewed some people. I gave y'all the real, the raw, the uncut of how I got here, how I got to children, how I, how I'm who I am today. And this season, I don't know where it's going to take me, honestly, because we starting off interesting. <laughs> Valentine's Day is either here or coming up whenever I decide to drop this. And I'm going through something right now. Honestly and truly, I'm not going to even check go there. I'm going through something in my heart of hearts. And I decided to live it out on the screen. So here's to that, I guess. Um, Y'all know that I don't really be writing stuff down on what's going to be talked about, what's um, going to come out of my mouth because I really try to operate out of the Holy Spirit when I am doing this type of video or audio, um, when I'm by myself, kind of let things flow how it needs to flow, unless I have a specific target. All right, I'm chatting. So let's get into it. Basically, How do I put it? Basically, my feelings is hurt right now. And um, I'm processing it through my Capricorn tendencies and I'm trying to be a better human about how I process my feelings and express them, especially anger because or frustration because I feel like when Somebody shows you in their actions that they don't care. They don't care. However, I am learning from my friend, Andrew, that that's not always necessarily true from the opposite sex. And if you don't express that and you don't say something, they're not going to know. Now, you can move how you want to move afterwards, but you still have to express it and you still have to share it. So that's what I did. I shared a voice memo with my uh, beau, I should say, and I don't know if I want to share it with y'all. I'm going to share it with y'all. I'm going to share a little snippet so y'all can really get into the mood of how I'm feeling because... When you, I'm really trying not to say words that I don't mean because I'm still in a raw state and I voice noted this person, I voice noted this person and then I blocked them. So I didn't even give them a chance to respond, but in my defense, in my defense, two days ago, I was in a state of, I'm tired of the half-assed responses 
that don't feel genuine because your actions don't back up your words, if that makes sense. So let me let me let me play a little bit for y'all. Just a little bit. Well, being that it's hard to get in contact with you. I don't I don't know where you are, but hey, um I was told that I need to get everything off my chest because you might not know how I'm feeling. And remember when you said when I told you do not hurt me? Well, you hurt me. And I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional, but my feelings are hurt. And the fact that you continue to um how do I word it? The lack of consistency with your actions and showing up and I'm not just saying showing up physically I mean showing up in totality as in being I can actually get in contact with you and have communications with you over the phone and all these other ways um it's hurtful because it feels as though that you don't care about my feelings that I'm not on your mind when you do things um i.e thursday when i was right okay so y'all get where i'm coming from right now that's the mood i'm in right now now today tomorrow it might change because i can honestly say that i am a moody female i am very much moody and i accept it i'm no longer hiding it i'm no longer pushing it away i'm not saying oh no not me No, I am moody. But how do I go about it? How do I say this? This is somebody that I've known for a very long time. So that's where my moody and pettiness and like upset kind of comes from because it's like, nigga. You, of all people, you, you, of all people, you know me. You know what I've been through. You know where I come from. You know who I come from. You feel me? Like, you know all of these details. So why are you playing with me like you don't know? And like you don't care. You're the one who said that you You're the one who has given information that has led me to believe that I'm the one, right? So what are you doing? That's how I feel right now. Well, that's how I felt in the thing. Today, I'm reflecting because it's not always about the other person. And I know I'm being real sassy and all of that. And partially it's because it's a coping mechanism being on the screen. And the other half is because I really am, I really am her like that. <laughs> so um, I'm sitting here reflecting on the journey and how I got here and how I have allowed certain things to exist in my life. I've allowed certain actions and behaviors to exist in my life. And I have to take responsibility for that. Yes, he could have handled the situation better. He could have um, been the responsible, emotionally responsible one to say, no, Not yet, not right now, in all aspects. But at the end of the day, like, I'm a willing participant. I'm a human being. I'm a grown-ass woman. And I allowed it. And I had to sit and reflect on why did I allow it? Why do I continue? Did I continue? Because I, no, we're not doing that anymore. Why did I continue to allow people, not even him, 
him, and it's not even him, the action that he did, because I don't want to come on here and bash him because he is a great man. He's a good man. He's all of those things. But even good men fall short and even good men have to improve. And that was just the grain of sand that just like tipped me over. I don't think that's a saying, but it is today. Um, <laughs> y'all, I'm nervous. I usually do this behind no video. Um, but yeah, like I allowed it. I I said I gave consent to have sex with this person. Um knowing that we weren't in an official relationship. I gave consent to have this person around at my most important time on my 30th. I gave consent to the conversation and even the ghosting. I gave consent to that. I participated in that. I allowed you to disappear for days at a time and made excuses and hit it under, oh, I'm just understanding. No, you have a lack of boundaries. You can be understanding and still have boundaries. You're not implementing your boundaries. And this is why you continue to get hurt. This is why you continue to feel like you are overexerting or pouring into somebody who cannot reciprocate for whatever reason. Because It can be for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, this I guess this is my video of me taking accountability account accountability on my part in my relationships and how I allow people to ebb and flow however they feel and then I conform. And that's not fair. And I've I do I've done it with my children. Um, and I say done because I am at a point where I am setting clear cut boundaries on life in general and the people around me in general. And I'm taking responsibility for the things that I have done um, to get to this point of revelation. And this is one of them. I lack boundaries because I love you so much. I love so hard. I love so big. And I love so strong. It's like, oh, it's okay. Like, oh, no, it's okay. Oh, he's he's with his daughter. Oh, he has to work hard. Oh, but no, like, no, because you make time. You make time for what you want to make time for. You make time to pour into these people. You make time to show up for these people. You make time to go above and beyond for whoever, whatever situation. And now, no, you're not going to overexert yourself. You're not going to pour into those who are not reciprocating either at all or in totality because I'm not going to sit here and act like he just totally shitted on me and was just like, there's some fuck boy shit and all that because he didn't. It was more so a lack of accountability on both ends. There's nobody holding you accountable on that end to say, okay, you you like her. You, you doing all of this. You saying all of this. So what's up? What you doing next? Right? And then there's nobody, no, I'm not holding myself accountable because nobody can hold me accountable for the boundaries that I have. I'm not holding myself accountable, accountable for the boundaries that I need to implement in order to access the life that I want. Because I do want to be married. I do want to have a child with my husband. I do want to work with my husband. I want to grow businesses with my husband. I want to do YouTube with my husband. I want to do a podcast with my husband. 
I want to do those things. And of course, things outside of just my relationship because I am so multifaceted. But like, I want that. I want that life. I want that experience. And if it doesn't work for us, then we realize, oh, like working together on this doesn't really work for us. Maybe we need to pivot here. Then we will cross that bridge when we get to it. But I need to implement the boundaries and the rules and the regulations for myself in order to get there. And I have totally disregarded myself in this whole dating world because I don't even know why, honestly. And the root of it, honestly, the root of it all, the root of it all really starts with Uh, the first baby daddy. That's really where it starts with. Um, when you allow somebody to chip away at who you are in your core and your being, you start allowing things that you wouldn't normally allow. You start um, doing things that you wouldn't normally do. And then it becomes habitual. Then it becomes part of your life. Then it becomes subconscious. Then it starts spilling over into things and I'm at a space and place in life where I am nipping those things in the bud, whether it's me or it's the person. And trust me, I have a lot of conversations with myself. That's why this, (laughs) that's how this podcast started. I have conversations with myself and with God on where I'm at and what I need to do to be better. So I guess that's what I'm talking about right now. That's where I'm at right now. That's that's where we're going. That's the phase of life we're in. And I'm excited. Um, I do feel like I should. I don't know if I should say it to him, but maybe I'll allow like I shouldn't have blocked him when I sent that voice memo because I didn't in the voice memo. I was saying how. We're friends before anything. And I feel like my friend really doesn't care about my feelings. But then I turned around and said, well, I don't care about yours. And that wasn't right. That is what I feel like I have to apologize or repent for because that's not okay. You can't say in one breath that we're friends and this is how I feel and you're not appreciating or you're not listening or regarding my feelings but then turn around and not consider theirs so for that I'm sorry if you're watching this I'm sorry but I do mean what I said and I am standing on it because 2024 we're in a new season I'm 30 now a birthday passed, like a lot has happened. I have dealt with someone uh, this past summer that couldn't follow through on his words as well. And I had to sit and be like, okay, well, why do you keep falling into these things where these men can't keep their word and you're not keeping your word to yourself you're not keeping your word to god because you told god that you weren't going to have sex until you were married this time around you told god that you wanted to do it the right way you told god that the type of life that you wanted and you're not you're not operating as her. You're not operating as the woman that deserves those things. You're not operating as the woman who has done the work because you have done the work. So why are you moving like you haven't? Why are you moving like you are less than? Why are you moving like you're not worthy? And I had to really sit there with myself and unpack these things and continue to unpack these things. And I reconciled some things with my father that I needed to reconcile. I have stopped 
stopped blanketing the, I don't want to say disrespect because it's not always disrespect, but I stopped blanketing people's actions under grace because even God stops giving grace after a while. And they don't talk about that often. God doesn't extend grace forever. When you know better, you have to do better. And he expects you to do better. And that's how I expect myself to move. I know better. I know better. I knew better when we came back around this time to not have sex with him. And I still did it because honestly, it's good. It's amazing. (laughs) But no. No, because that always leaves you in a fucked up situation. That always leaves you hurt. That always leaves you with a child that you have to care for. That always leaves you at an abortion clinic. That always leaves you doing things that you are not supposed to. You get what I'm saying? Like, these are things like cause and effect, cause and effect, bam. And you have to accept the cause you played in this effect. But it's okay. It's okay to fall short. It's okay to not have it all together. It's okay to feel like you're swimming through muddy waters right now. But as long as you continue to strive to be your best self every day, you wake up and you try to be better than you were yesterday, you try to fix the things that you, only you can fix every single day and you partner with God on it, that's all you can do. That's all I can do. All I can do is sit here and say, I fucked up. I fucked up in not keeping my boundaries. I didn't do nothing wrong per se, like, you know, like, do nothing wrong or mean or malicious or anything. But I fucked up on not putting myself first or not caring about me, my body, my well-being, my mind, my mental health. And it was starting to spill over into my children. And I noticed because I am a moody person and because I feel so deeply and I don't share everything all the time, I keep a lot of stuff in my brain and my mind and just Talking here with God, it spills over into my children. And they are of the male species. And I refuse to condition them to be okay with some of the emotional outbursts that I've had. That's not okay. And if I can't, if I can't, separate my feelings from this situation over here with this person and it comes over here with my children then I don't I don't need to be in that space right now and I'm doing better on pinpointing my triggers pinpointing how I react to those triggers and how it spills over into my children I am apologizing faster. Um, I am auto-correcting myself in the in the moments of saying something. You know how you can see yourself, hear yourself saying something, but you can't stop yourself. I'm in stopping myself because I want to raise young men that are emotionally intelligent, and I can't say you need to regulate your emotions when I'm over here bugging out lashing out doing whatever because somebody that has nothing to do with y'all is making me feel some type of way and it only happens because I'm not speaking my truth when I am upset I can speak my truth when I'm in love I could write you a love poem in 
that, baby. I am a lover girl down to the core. Will you ever know that if you don't talk to me? Probably not because I don't share that part of myself often. But that's an easy, an easy emotion to get out for me. Um, because I'm a creative and I can curate these fairy tale things in my head, that's easy. But when I'm upset, when I'm frustrated, when I'm hurt, when I'm angry, those emotions I tend not to share in real time because my mouth can be a little crazy. Uh, and I have worked very hard not to be that person. Um, so now it's like, okay, well, you don't want to be that girl, but you can't be passive either. Like passive doesn't get you anything. Passive, passive gets you friend zone. Passive gets you nothing. Passive gets you nothing. So what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now, bam? And this is what I'm doing now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where I'm at in life. That's where I'm at dating wise. I'm on some dating apps, I guess. I'm trying I'm trying to figure it out. Um my heart is very much open. I don't know if I'm going to tell him like, "Oh, my bad. I shouldn't have done that." Um because I I also don't want him to feel like I'm reneging on what I said because I'm not. I very much am standing on business on what I said. How I carried it afterwards is what I'm apologizing for. So what? I guess we'll unpack that as the day goes. I don't know. But yeah, us women, we have to be accountable for ourselves and our actions and we cannot let um, the woes of our emotions in dating and love and the lack of love and all those things spill over into other relationships because they don't deserve it. Those people don't deserve it. They have nothing to do with whatever it is that that other person has done to you or hasn't done. Because I get more upset when People don't do what they say they're going to do, as opposed to the latter. I don't know. But I'm going to close this out because there's nothing left to say. But I pray that everyone has a wonderful Valentine's Day. If you do not have a significant other, have a wonderful Galentine. Make sure you click the link under the in the description and go shop and get some some good old merch. Oh, my mother's calling. Let's put her on on the recording. I'm recording, mother, and you're in the recording. Do you have something to say? Mom, I said I'm recording my podcast. Do you have something to say? You're on the recording. Okay, so I just finished telling them that um, about what's going on, about what's going on with the person, the male person, and how I am taking accountability for my part that I played in not upholding my boundaries and the wants that I have um, for my future. So that's, I'm wrapping that up. Oh, okay. So here's what I will say. In life, we need to understand that when things happen, we have to stop saying what has happened to us, right? And I mean us as in the proverbial us in general. What has happened to us. We have to say what is happening for us. Mm -hmm. And we have to look at everything that goes on as a lesson. So that's good that you... You said, oh, you're taking ownership of the part that you played. So that is the lesson that you learned. Mm -hmm. 
we're so quick, and I'm just I'm just talking about women, right? Mm-hmm. Not in general, not every to point the finger so at them. Right, we're so quick to point the finger at them, and we don't sit back and say, "Okay, God, what are you doing? What are you doing for me in this?" Mm-hmm. Right, and the "What are you doing for me in this?" was for you to acknowledge the part that you played, so you won't do it again. Yeah, right, and and that so you will speak up. And speak out about your boundary, mm-hmm. what you will accept, what you won't accept. Because we all, the things that happen to us, we have to look around and say, okay, why is it happening to us? Because right. many times we accept it because mm-hmm. we accept it by not speaking out about it the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or we get, or we have, or we take somebody else's advice to say, oh no, girl, you should stay, stay with him a little longer when your spirit is telling you, no. You need to walk away from that. <laughs> right. This is true. You know? And okay. I also I also said that one thing I can take accountability for is I shouldn't have voice noted how I felt and then not given him the space and opportunity to respond because I blocked him after I said what I needed to say. Because how can you say, oh, you're my, fr- I, my friend is not acknowledging my feelings, but then I turn around and totally don't give a fuck about your feelings in this moment. Oh, watch your mouth. But th- that's what I'm saying. So I do take accountability for that. I said that I don't know if I'm going to say it to him because I, I meant what I said. So I don't want him to feel like I'm reneging on what I said. But I should have given him the space and opportunity to have a conversation as opposed to just saying something and blocking it. Why? When you've already given him space and opportunity to say what he needed to say. Hmm. So I'm, I'm a little baffled. Uh, well, um, I don't because know. We, no, because no, I no, voice no, noted no, it and literally block, like blocked the number right after. Right. That's, just like, that's just like you sending a letter. You're not sending a letter or telling somebody to, oh, I forgive you. You don't, you're not, you don't want the response. Yeah, I didn't want the response, and I said that. I said I don't care if you respond or not. Like you can right. do whatever you want with this, but well, it was your mother. She, I mean, it was your grandmother. You probably calling me about the the um hold on the uh the tax result. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all. I don't really know what else to say. We're dealing with a family issue right now, so. Thank you for having me. Love you. You're welcome. Look, say hi. Hey, <laughs> Okay, y'all. Bye. See, sometimes you need a sounding board and not just yourself. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. I know that sometimes I can speak in circles, um, but trust me, I always get to the point. So. Bear with me, bear with me on this camera. I am, I'm trying. I'm getting out of my comfort zone all 2024 and I am trying. I'm going to show up more on this camera as my full and total self. I will continue to give y'all um, the lessons that I learned in real time. I will try not to hold on to things and, um, because I tend to do that even with my content and all of that. And this is cheers to, hold on, let's do cheers. Let's do cheers. Y'all like my glasses? This is, this is, we not sponsors LaCroix, but you need to because everything pink. This is cheers to setting boundaries and keeping them. Loving always, even when it's hard, giving grace when it's needed, and walking away when you have to. Cheers. Love you guys. Ooh.